What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. We're here again at another episode. Today, we have no special guests, but we do have his fucking ugly ass. I'm here. Who are you, though? Oh, yeah. I, I, am, I am me. The, you know who I am. John. <laughs> <laughs> you forget how to do this? Yeah, I forgot how to do this for a moment. I have to retire the white belt slayer for a couple weeks. So I, am, I am the white belt did you, wrangler. Did you get, did you get slayed by Before a white belt? Before we get into one. Before we did, get into wait, wait, did you get slayed by a white belt? No, never. Uh, well, let's uh, get into it. Mm-hmm. How much do you weigh? Fatty? You know, we don't have to make this a thing. We do. Know? It's it is a thing. It's not. We don't have to. It's already a thing. And you're drinking a drink with calories. I am it. drinking a drink with Fatty? calories today because I'm going to Vegas. All right. Oh, so you're on vacation? No, you're on vacation. No, I'm not. I'm not on vacation. Bullshit. I'm not on vacation. All right, let's I mark did. it. All right. How much you weigh today? I am this morning two eleven. Two eleven. Okay. So predictions. Back from Vegas. Two twenty. Oh hell no! Yeah, no, no nine no. pounds? No way! That's one night of drinking. No, I'm not drinking. I'm doing zero li- drinking on there. Zero. Then why did you want me to go? So I wasn't fucking bored and miserable by myself. Yeah, but I would drink. Then We'd be drinking. Drink. It would be funny to watch you drink. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, two eleven. It's been a struggle to continue to lose weight though. That's so. up three pounds since last week. Uh, I I've, I've been fluctuating for some reason between like oh so you've been lying to, us. to two eleven no no that day was I was like whatever weight but like between two oh eight and two eleven now when like you said it down. you didn't say it with confidence I just because it's fluctuating it goes up and down yeah. like wow some days I wake up that's like me I picked the lighter weight for that week I picked the lightest weight for that week and that's what I, <sighs> it's not, I I mean I didn't pick I never pick where I was the lightest of the week I pick where I am that morning so I weigh myself every morning you happen to ask and so I tell you where I'm at that uh, morning. Uh-huh. Not for the week. For the week, I'd still be at like two. So speaking of which, what are you drinking? Uh, drinking the anyways, juice? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have, we're gonna the mango. Mm, this is one of my mango favorites. loco. Yeah, these are delicious. These are quite quite. Have you seen these? Uh, delicious. No, I I, I ghost have, hydration drink. I, I really like I really like the energy drinks, but they're like doing speed. I've never yeah, done yeah. speed, but I imagine that's what that's speed what feels like. like. So uh, this is like their their version of like the Gatorade the electrolyte. Yeah, so uh, we'll check it out. I don't know. It's gonna taste amazing. I don't know. I mean, I like this flavor, but like as a drink to drink, not an energy drink. Sour Patch Kids might be a little too much. Might be some diabetes we'll check it out in the cup. It's no sugar. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's no sugar. Oh, Ten calories yeah. too. Yep. That's not bad. Oh, it's really good. It's sour as fuck. Mm. Woo! Woo! I don't like sour drinks uh, or sour candy in general. I love sour candy. It's all I drink. It's not my. Um, my. So back candy. to why I got to retire the Slayer for a couple weeks. Yeah. So we got a new white belt. First of all, that motherfucker is not new. It took me three or four weeks to get it out of him because I asked him every time I rolled with him for weeks, where did you train at before? And finally, he admitted that he trained before. But he said he never really trained consistently and it was Mr. like Ball five dude. years ago. Yeah. yeah. So he finally committed? Because I've asked him too and he's always like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, he, he trained. I think he said he trained for like almost a year, or eight months, something like that at another gym for a little while. And then he stopped for like three or four years because he moved out of, he moved. Uh, this is the one with a sacrifice though. Yeah. yeah. He's got a really good sacrifice though. He hasn't, he hasn't caught me with it, but he's pulled. Dude, he's caught me with it better than you catch me with it. Yeah, he's caught me with it. Maybe it's because maybe because you don't expect it. I know you're gonna do it. I mean, he might be good at setting it up. Yeah. But well, I just I don't expect a new white belt to be to able to pull do it. That. Yeah, that's true. But I've never been in like uh, he's <laughs> taken me down with that, but I've always ended up on top. Usually I'll give him like three or four minutes of the letting him do his thing, and then I'll end up on top. Mm-hmm. But the other day, I don't remember what day it was. I think it was Monday because I was only here Monday and Tuesday this week. I think on Monday I'm rolling with him, and same thing. He catches me with something. Maybe that same throw. I was like, all right, I'll give him a couple minutes to work. And he, he's, he's trying to get – he can't pass. He's doing this yeah. thing. And then I get up. I start to go, I'm going to pass. I'm going to get up. I'm going to sweep him. I'm going to get up. I'm going to sweep him. And then I'm going to crush him. This motherfucker has a pants grip on my lower pants. And I could not give them away. <laughs> I'm he's like, strong. Oh, he's strong. I was like I was like kicking, like crashing, <clears throat> pushing his face. I could not get him. He has a really back. good um, – his, his grips his, are good. Yeah, his grips. His grips are he's really good. strong. He's just he, – he, I mean, he's a big dude in general, but yeah. he's – um. Much stronger for his size than I would have expected. Like yeah. his grips and when he when he holds you, yeah. Um, I have to be very um, very technical with him. Otherwise, I get fucked. Yeah, because uh, because he, he's way bigger than me, so it's it's hard to get. Yeah, because you're just a little ass guy. It, it's hard to get him like yeah. out of, off the side control. Yeah. If I let him get on top, so now I'm like nope. Yeah. And I I'm like I, I had all last. I'm like well every time, I'm sorry I'm not letting yeah. you on top. <laughs> every, every time I roll with him, I've been able to sweep him and get up. You know that that's usually my game plan. Like. Three three minutes of playing bottom, letting yeah. them try to do their thing, tire them out, and you know, let and then come up and come up and do my thing. But uh, then Tuesday we rolled again, and I was like, "Fuck this fool! He's getting the fucking gas." <laughs> I gave it to him. I had him snoring 
like <laughs> the best sound in the world five times and he did not tap yeah, he didn't tap and i'm I, I can hear it and i'm like yes i'm fucking going for it i asked him i was like those weren't close and he was like nah and i was like but you were snoring he was like yeah i had my hand in there and i was like i don't give a fuck your face was changing colors like yeah they weren't close yeah. I was afraid I was going to put him yeah, to sleep. Yeah, um, I got him with a paper, with that paper cutter. That's right. I, I had him with a paper with, cutter. Um, Deep. No, I got him with a um, clock choke. And oh, his, yeah, yeah. But his hands were trapped in, <laughs> underneath him <laughs> like this, yeah. like underneath your chest. You know, yeah, when yeah. You, and, you, and his face was in the mat. Yeah. And so he was like all the way down, and he was like tapping with his feet. Oh, um, shit. But it, like, I That's thought he was going to tap. Yeah. I, he just wasn't fucking tapping. Yeah. And, I, and then I, for a minute, I thought to myself, well, his fucking hands are trapped. Yeah. Like, does he know how to tap with his feet? Yeah, but like, and then finally he was able to tap, and I was like, "Oh, thank yeah. you." Yeah, one of the ones I had him in was really deep. I let go because I was like, "Fuck, man, he might go to sleep." Because that dude's t- I've got him in paper cutters before, and he doesn't tap, and I've caught him with other things. But uh, what? 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 It's blinking already. Already? I just put. Oh, maybe and I didn't change the battery. Right, we might have to change the battery. Yeah, we'll but yeah, so uh, yeah, fucking. So I'm like, dude, I can't be the Slayer if I can't crush every white belt. So I gotta, I gotta work on something for him this week. Maybe armbar. You know who? Because he ain't stopping. You know who I roll with? Is- Fucking really good, and I think Albert's were, bitch ass. Fuck no, you, Albert. You were talking about <laughs> he needs some stripes on his belt. You know how the stripes? He, Chris Santana is that his name? He's Mexican like, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's like older. He's I don't know if he, is he young. He's like thirty four. <laughs> bitch, that's your age. All right, you are older than him. Yeah, yeah. Old as fuck. But he's not old. He's not your age. No, no. But he's older. He's older. Yeah, yeah. I thought. Um, I thought. I thought you. I thought he was actually younger than he. he was. Yeah, so did I. I he just know. came back, right? After like, yeah, yeah, yeah. His name's Chris Santana. Yeah. So that's good. funny. I asked him if he wanted to be on the podcast today. I saw him today. Oh, did you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, we like got some, oh, we got some good shit. He's I, really uh, fucking good. He's a Division Two national champion, I believe. He got after he got, after a lifetime of wrestling. I asked him when you start wrestling. I think he said he was eight or ten. Dude, I watched him throw some motherfuckers, and I was like, nah, nah. I'm you know what's funny? Guard. So Fuck you. He he came back out of nowhere a couple Fridays ago because I he's kind he's of been, been back like two months now. No, it's no, been, no. It's been a little bit. I've seen him in there. Oh, like really? Oh, maybe like during the day or something. Yeah, I, I've seen him. Because anyway, like when I first started, he was there just crushing everyone, and then I was always afraid to roll with him. And then like right when I got my blue belt, he kind of left because um, he, he's like a nogi kind of. He likes nogi better. And on a Friday, I roll in. I was like, that's going to be a nice light Friday. <laughs> and I roll in, and I see, like, Kyle, and I was like, ah, fuck. And then, like, I just see, like, a bunch of the killers. Like, all the dudes my weight were just the savages. And then I'm putting my gi on, and that dude walks in. I was like, fuck. It's going to be one of those days. And then uh, he he was being – he gave it to me real light. And then uh, I was like, Nick, you know, uh, Nick, Purple Belt Nick, I was like, hey, roll with that dude right there. And then he was like, I don't get it. And I was like, huh. And Nick kind of put it on him a little bit. And then uh, a couple people kind of put it on him. And then we were sitting down talking, and I was like, that dude is the fucking dude. You guys better watch out. He told me he's hurt. So the next week, he walked in, and I was like, hey, dude, I've been, I've been spreading the legend of Chris Santana. Like, I need you to give it to these fools. They said you ain't got shit. And he's like, really? Who said that? And I was like, you he's see so that? good. I was like, you see that purple belt over there? That was him, right? He specifically said you didn't have shit. <laughs> and then, dude, I watched him give it to Nick. And I was like, yeah. I liked him. He did some, uh, who was he rolling with? He couldn't take him down, couldn't take him down. And he did like a, like a, I don't, I don't even know what the throw is, but it's a wrestling one where they kind of like throw over like a yeah, suplex, kind of like a suplex over. Mm-hmm. But he did it to someone else. Was like, holy fuck! Everyone was just stopped and looked. I was like, god damn! And he hit that shit hard. I was like, woo! I was like, I do not want to get thrown by him. But oh, uh, just wait. Till I yeah, I like, I, I like rolling with him because he's like, um, he doesn't. He's not like uh, smash all the time. He adjusts his game to like if you're playing. I hard, think he adjusts. Hard. I think he adjusts it to you. Yeah, yeah. When I roll with him, it's one thousand percent pressure. One thousand percent. No, no. He's like. Uh, I, he definitely gives it to me. I'm just saying. I feel like I've seen him roll with like the younger guys. Yeah. Just fucking. You know, like just yeah, nonstop. Yeah. And I've seen how he rolls with like older guys. He just. Yeah. He, he just, yeah, yeah, for sure. Because he was doing that with me, and then I was playing half guard, and I'm kind of getting the better of him. I was like, damn, dude. My, I was like, my jujitsu is fucking fly. And then he swept me and got on top and choked me yeah, with yeah. the most. Bone arrow. Fuck no. The most fuck shit I've ever felt. Oh. He had me like kind of like in an arm. Tri- so I was, in, I was in half guard on my side, and he put me like in an arm triangle like this from the half guard. And I was like, well, I ain't going to do shit. Then he brought his hand up, and it was a Z kill oh, me from, from the side. Hell yeah. While he was having me in our, I thought I was gonna go to sleep. That's sick. Because I was like, this ain't shit. And I'm kind of like trying to, I'm trying to open my shoulder up to wiggle it out. And then it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And finally I tap and he lets go. And I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me with that same thing twice. That, like, he got me later. with a bow and arrow twice, but 
Um, That's pretty slick for a wrestler. I mean, he's he, also a purple belt. But, yeah, he's really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I like him. I think he's a really cool dude too. Like, yeah, but I, I asked him to be on, and it, so he was working out. I went around to the gym today, and he was doing some weird lifts. I was like, "What are those for?" And he was like, "These are for wrestling." And I was like, "Can you show me those?" He's like, "Yeah." So I'm, maybe we'll have him show like a, a lifting technique. That'd be cool. Instead of uh, yeah, I'm down. That'd be yeah. fun. Yeah, I like him. He's cool. I like yeah. the, um, I like working with him. I mean, he fucks me up all the time. So um. <laughs> I would love to. Re- I mean. I like. I don't know if Roger said this on the podcast. Fucking. He did. Uh, he's by the way, his grand opening is next week, next Saturday. If you're in the area, uh, go get a roll. Yeah, we're gonna be rolling hard. Um, and then, by the way, he'll tell you. He'll tell you oh, if you come doing. to his gym, he's gonna break you off. So be ready, prepared to get beat up by Roger. <laughs> I roll. I roll them on. What day was this? Uh, maybe Wednesday morning, like 10 a.m. I think it was Wednesday, 10 a.m. He was there. And I roll with him, and he's like, "Oh, you almost got me." He's all, "I was like, he's like that was slick," and then he's like, "But I ain't no fuck boy, so <laughs> it ain't gonna work on me." I'm like, "God damn it!" Yeah, yeah. Rogers is savage. Dude. <laughs> I'm so ex- I'm so excited for his school to open. I think he's yeah. gonna do well. Like, hopefully, a lot of those people that he's been training with turn into students. Cause, uh, I'm, I'm super he's happy a great for people teacher. like that. Yeah, he's yep. a, he's turned into a great. I'm, I love seeing people grow and do their thing yeah. and take risks. And go out and do. Well, some Rogers also so. super young. He's twenty six years old. Super young, yeah. So I'm yeah. excited to see it. I think he's going to do great things with the gym. And yeah. So yeah, if you guys are out in that area, make sure you go check it out. Um, go have some fun, get some good rolls, and I don't yeah. know if you noticed because I'm an extreme fat guy. Did you notice what's in the parking lot of Rogers Gym? Uh uh-uh. uh McDonald's. Oh. Whew, that those fries smell good oh. there. That's yeah. a good McDonald's. So that McDonald's is always on point. <clears throat> I don't really care. I don't eat. Not nah, you don't like McDonald's? Uh, it's okay. What's your favorite fast food? Um, well, for McDonald's, it's going to be breakfast. Oh, for sure. Like they're like, if for I'm sure. going on a road trip, that's yeah, McDonald's breakfast, yeah. McDonald's breakfast. I actually, I prefer for road I love trip, their little hash burrito. browns. Oh yeah. Oh, they're so good. But McDonald's breakfast is so expensive now. It was the last time you had it. It's been a while. It's like 15 bucks for one person. Everything's 15. Anywhere you go, man. Fuck, dude, I, are crazy. Dude, I went and got a margarita last time. They were $16 each. One was so bad. I sent it back. I was like, Hey, I was like, the first one was excellent. This one was trash. Take it back. It, everything's gotten so expensive, but I, yeah. I don't I don't really have a favorite fast food anymore because I don't eat a lot of fast food. I just, but that is probably my favorite breakfast from a place. They're so greasy though, because then you got to shit and like you better make it where you got to go. Yeah, <laughs> it's that's, so why, that's why I don't fucking McDonald's on road trips. Yeah, it's so I'll greasy. Be fucking clenching those cheeks the whole way. Man, I've had bad road trips. Like we when we do the motorcycle ones, we eat when gas you used station to ride food. motorcycles, we do gas station food. Oh, dude, gas fucking yeah. Sort what, of is that, what is that? What is that? Uh, there's that gas station that's like the extra mile or something. And they're like everywhere. Oh, yeah, AMPM. Is it AMPM? Yeah, they like, have the bigger, the bigger yeah. store. So that's where we stop because they have all the foods and stuff. Oh no, when you're when you're on the highway, yeah, yeah. it's usually Loves or Pilot. I know. We, so we always so truck eat, stop, right? Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we usually end up eating a, like like those kind of places. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's a regret. Like, then then you're racing to the next one. You're like, oh, I gotta go to bathroom. Time, dude. Like I like a lot of times when I'm traveling through Texas uh, before you get to Bucky's, which is the motherland. I'm wearing Bucky shorts again today. But before you get to Bucky's, it's all Loves, basically. Loves uh, and, and fly, uh, Pilots on the way, right? They usually stop at Loves. They usually got better stuff. But as you get into Texas, everyone's trying to compete with Bucky's now. So they all got these different versions of Bucky's. Like every every little area's got their own kind of like area of Bucky's. And I'll go into them and I'm like, man, that food looks good. And I'm like, mm, but it's five hours to the next stop. Mm, I don't yeah, know. Is it worth it? Is it, <laughs> yeah. is it worth it's, always, it's always no. I usually try to stop at Walmart <laughs> and get like a couple things to eat on the way and just fucking do that. Yeah. That's a that's a, uh, a smart decision to do the Walmart. Yeah. Just get like just beef a couple jerky. Things. I, I, I like, never I never fuck with beef jerky. I I love it. I never really mess with it. But when I was in Texas last time, I got beef. Uh, Bucky's has like thirty different yeah, types of beef version. jerky. They're on too. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I got one of those, and I was just eating it. And I ate the whole bag, and I looked at it. So it's only like a thousand calories for this whole bag, which is a lot for one sitting. But that's all I ate that day. Mm-hmm. And I was I didn't eat dinner. I was like, damn, that's crazy how feeling it gets you. Well, it's a lot of protein. Yeah, I usually do like that in like uh, I usually do that in um. Uh, pumpkin seeds. I love pumpkin seeds and oh, sunflower right. seeds too. I like sunflower seeds, but I'm done. They tear your mouth up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like ah, when they're all salty. You're like ah, my mind. They my, make me have to piss because I'll drink gallons of water around me. Yeah, you're fucking, thirsty. Just yeah, fucking. But they keep for me. It's like they, they keep you awake because you're like yeah, chewing yeah. and breaking them open yeah. and stuff. So it's like something something to do. But I drive so much. I admit, mm. ain't shit no more. Mm. It's I mean anything less than 15 hours is light work. That's crazy. Yeah, okay. I did fall asleep on the airplane this weekend, though. Fucking. 
fucking snoring. Yeah. You, get, you mm-hmm. had the whole road to yourself. On the way there, on the way back, I didn't. Cause I, on the way there, I took a 6 a.m. flight. Uh-huh. On the way back, I took an 1130 flight, so it was full. Where'd you fly out of? SeaTac and then Ontario. Mm-hmm. Ontario here and SeaTac up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanted to do some jiu-jitsu, but I was so far away from everything. Like, the place where I go to, they don't even have a hotel. I got to drive, like, 35 minutes to a hotel. That's crazy. The closest, like, hotel. Yeah, that's, it's like a small city? It's a small town in the middle of nowhere in Washington. It's it's directly in the middle of Seattle and Portland. That's why it's there. <laughs> it's so that this location can service both cities. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I had to drive, like, 30 minutes to go to a casino to fucking get a hotel because that's, like, the first place that doesn't have bugs. Yeah. Everything, exactly. everything else got bugs. Yeah. So. Well, <laughs> it's, it's fucking, that yeah. whole area is Turned to shit, dude. It's so sad up yeah. there. Like the rain and the cloudiness, and then everyone's they have, on a, they have a high suicide rate. Yeah, but dude, this. Well, you see now they're, on now they're changing the laws about the drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're no, like, oh, Oregon. we fucked up. Oregon, we fucked yeah. up. No yeah. shit. Yeah, you can't be doing meth or smoking. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, dude, you can see that everyone's on opiates. I was like, um, so there's this channel. I think I sent you the the, the link to that guy. Um, oh, I can't watch that guy. The street guy, like the street chronicles or whatever the fuck he's called. No, no, the, the fat electrician. Oh, no, I don't see. What was that? It's a military one. Uh, the, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it yet, though. Oh, yeah, so yeah. that guy, he, I found this channel. It's called The Fat Electrician. He does, like, a, he's a really good storyteller. But he talks about, like, old stories from the military. Mm-hmm. One of them he was talking about was, um, um, I think it was a German troop being chased by Russians mm-hmm. in the snow. And they got stuck. And um, <laughs> this, this ties in right now. They got stuck in a big snowstorm. And they couldn't outrun the, the Russians because they had to, like, dig through mm-hmm. the snow. Well, apparently, the, Ru- the Germans were giving um, medicine to their troops. Yeah, meth. Meth. Yeah, yeah. They were pills. That's known. They were pills. Mm-hmm. Well, this dude, everyone trusted him because he didn't do them. So they gave, him, they gave them all of their pills and yeah. they put them all in one thing. Well, because of the heat on his body they and melted. then the cold on the outside, they melted. And they made one big-ass nugget. <laughs> and so... He was tired. He was running from the fucking Germans. And so he said, fuck it. He ate the whole thing. And apparently this motherfucker started plowing through the fucking snow. They fucking <laughs> what, got... berserker? Yeah, yeah. They got... They got... They, 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 yeah. they, they were able to yeah. escape the fucking... Um, the, the, the Russians because they couldn't keep up with this motherfucker. And then, I guess... Like, they finally found a place to rest. But that motherfucker kept going for like 60 miles. Oh, shit. And like... <laughs> He said, that, so there's this whole thing about him where, like, for like three days, he just fucking kept moving and getting lost. Yeah, that's just, crazy. Uh, dude, it's such a crazy story. And I I'll have like, to watch that one. Yeah, I was like, I didn't fucking, I didn't like, like, I've heard that they gave yeah. him it, but I was like, that was the yeah. first, like, story where I was like, holy shit. Well, the Japanese or the Germans invented it, like, around World War II. Well, that's II. why the, the 45, and the, um, that's the reason between the uh, 1911, mm. is because they were trying to kill, I think it was. 1911 came out in 1911. Yeah, but I think it was because whatever war it was, World War One, they were having problems killing people because they were so fucking high. Yeah, and then the guns that they had at the time yeah, weren't working, they so they needed a bigger. Yeah, repeated. so they needed a bigger yeah. round. Yeah. 1911 came out, and that was putting an end to that. That's problem. wild. Yeah, history with two fat dads. <laughs> two fat dads. Uh, I do got some shit to talk about. We have some things to talk about. Let's hear it. Let's let's hear. These so we're going to go back a few episodes on this. Uh oh. To while I was gone, I forgot about this till this now. This is a public. Let me let me before we get into this public whatever announcement. Let me change the battery. All right, all right. Back. You said you have some public service announcement. Oh, public announcement. Public announcement. This we call it. is a semi-public callout. Oh, of old Eduardo. So on that podcast, he said he could do a seven-minute mile, <laughs> and the amount of DMs I got about this were unbelievable. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you saying he's going to have to prove it? Everyone wants proof. I don't know. I don't think I can do a seven. No way I can do one. Do you do one? A seven-minute mile? No. I'm, I'm like... I a, think I can do an 11-minute mile. I think I'm like nine or ten. Really? That's yeah. pretty solid. Yeah. I think I could do an 11 one. 11 would be pushing it for me, though. Yeah, you I haven't it. ran on the streets in years. You'd have to push it. Yeah. So, Eddie, let's see that seven-minute mile. Everyone will be stoked on it. Just put on a GoPro. I got one for you. I'll let you borrow it. Yeah, there we go. Go, Yeah, on the streets. Treadmill don't count, dog. Because the treadmill moves for you. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's definitely not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. It's much harder on the street. Because on a treadmill, you're just lifting your legs. You, yeah. you do have a little bit of forward yeah, you motion. Do it. You're you do an incline. No, that, that's how you make it as, as try to match it. You have to put it at an incline. Yeah. 
which is how I do mine. I incline it and then I do my my running. But by running yeah. you mean jogging? Jogging. Yeah. yeah. Not not running. Jogging. Yeah. I don't fucking run. I just jog. Yeah. Jogging is good for you. Yeah. So. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying. I'm just making sure you. Yeah. yeah. Into the second segue. Okay, let's go. Two podcasts ago, my old buddy John here uh-huh, uh-huh. claimed that he was 20% body fat. No. And also, Hell many no. people hit me up and said they're, what they knew their body fat was, and they're way I never fucking said 20%. You me. said 20 yeah. and I said, no, I'm close to 30. Either way. There ain't no way you're 30%. No, I'm 28. Since when? I, well, per the last check, which was with... Who did it? Uh, little Omar. That don't count. I don't, I'm not going to a fucking ice place to get... Or a water place to get... Is that it. place... That, 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 that nutrition place has got the body They do the same tester. shit. No, they got the electric one. I, I think. My fucking home scale has the electric one. What does it say? I haven't tested it. They have like a special machine there from what I've been told. I, I haven't seen it's, it. It's in my the own same eyes. one that's on the like um, the a mine. It sends an electrical current through your body and it knows the difference between like. How do we get a real muscle. one? Then? You have to go find like a health place and they put you in that bath. Is it expensive? I don't know. We, we might have to do that. Like that. But I know I'm sitting probably sitting. I would not because you said twenty eight percent. You said twenty, and I was like, no way. I'm going to be closer to thirty. And then when I when he checked it, it was like twenty eight percent. Actually. I had the paper here somewhere. I believe you. You don't got to get up. I, I got the paper. I had the proof. You got the receipts? Yeah, I got the receipts. But I, I also got them. multiple yeah. messages about that. But I never said 20. Whatever you said, I got multiple messages about. Because they said that is wild. So I must That's, be like 60. You're, no, not 60. You'll probably be like 50, 40%. Anything under 50 is good. Yeah. That, no, means I'm half, that means no, I'm half not. muscle. No, half muscle. That's all me, dude. That's all I'm me, not baby. good. Anything you? Anything, I got back in the gym today. We're getting back after it. My shoulder feels. Here, decent. here's the thing. I don't have fat on my arms. I don't have fat in my shoulders, and I don't have fat in my legs. This is fat, my guy. That's not fat. That's just skin. That's also fat. That's not fat. Skin this, doesn't. This is fucking. So it's fat. all your face and your stomach. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because you ain't know you. I got, carry all my weight. You don't got ass. No, I carry. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I carry all my weight. My and your legs are just bones. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So, all I'm saying is before is. all these pharmaceuticals, when you got down to this weight, your face looked skinny. No, I was 190s when I looked super skinny. No, even face. when you were down this low, your face looked skinny. But I, I think there's a difference. Yeah, pharmaceuticals. Well, no, because when I lost the weight, um, that was a pretty unhealthy way. Yeah, you were starving yourself. And so... It doesn't have time for your body. Like, Not only were you starving yourself, but you were trying to convince yourself that you weren't. You yeah. were trying to convince me. You're like, no, this is good. Yeah, you have good. to convince yourself that the yeah. shit you're doing yeah. is yeah. fucking good for to make it. to make Like when I used to commute to work and I was riding, uh, riding 110 miles every day one way and then 220 miles a day. Everyone's like, is that hard? I'm like, no, it's easy, easy. Because if I told myself it fucking sucked, it would be fucking miserable and make them the whole experience yeah worse. now you don't leave so now so now i'm gonna call your work and tell them what you do all day what yeah I'll i'm give a you narc number. on you. my number i'm a narc on you uh, no i'll find someone higher up i got some connections there. <laughs> but i got some connections there i know some people listen linda what time calm down right now. calm down Does it say time dude it's either it's, way i got some connections it there. is my son's birthday and it's blowing my mind that he's turning 18 Damn, Big Dog's 18. 18. I thought he was going to be 17. 18. Damn, now I can whoop his ass legally now. He, 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 Is it actually today? Yeah, it's today. He oh, was talking about shit. it. He's like, he's like, now I, I have to bottom a gift. He's like, now I have to compete in, as an adult. Yeah. See, now he's moving out of um, juvenile. juvenile? Yeah. yeah, so now he has to compete in adults. Yeah. He's like, I don't want a purple belt. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Well, he's what, one stripe? He needs three stripes. Oh, shit. But he took probably the last five months off or whatever because he was wrestling. So yeah, only, I feel like I hadn't seen him. Yeah, really he was only much. wrestling, so he he wasn't coming that often. Yeah. So you know. But he does has he ever competed with IBJJF? No. Only, oh yeah, only, well, he, can get, he can get promoted. Only, um, uh, World League. Yeah, he yeah. can get promoted. Because that's the only time. Well, oh, he's been a blue belt as long as me. Yeah, but that's not two years minimum. I guess for you it'll be two years like coming up, right? No, I he was a blue belt when I got my blue belt, wasn't he? I don't know. Or maybe he got it after. I don't remember. Oh yeah, you're a purple belt. Forget yeah. about that. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it just kind of like I was like, "Fuck, he's that's crazy, crazy, man." It's like <laughs> your daughter's fucking twenty nine. She's twenty four. Old enough, dog. Old enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old enough. 
Yeah. Oh, no. shit. That's crazy. Yeah, How's Brian's... Potato? He's 14. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's a monster. He's gonna... Yeah. He's going to get his green belt. I don't know. I have to get his ass whipped by yellow belt. <sighs> Where he at? <laughs> that was a... I... I wish I, I would have been there. I, I didn't even think about it. I told him to... Like, the first person he went against, I watched him do the Kimura. I'm like, oh, this gets good at Kimura. And then he went in that first match, and he was just fucking around. And he lost. And I was like... I was a little upset, and I was kind of irritated with him. You gotta and, let him do his thing. And man. then, and then he did really good. And then the next one, he had to go up against him again, and he got caught. But, but I was like, I was what I was explaining to him is this: is I'm not upset that you lose. I don't give a fuck if you lose. It that's gonna happen. That's part of it, and you get caught. What I don't like is when you go out there and you fuck around instead of doing your game. And yeah, but that's what it is. It is a game. He should be out there having fun. If you try but to I mean, him, if you try to make him serious like you're trying to be, no, no, I mean play. like, like he didn't even like take it. He's a kid, dog. Like, but my my point is, if you're gonna compete, you're gotta you gotta compete. Yeah, but right? he didn't want to compete. He, he got did. forced. No, he wanted to, and he wants to compete in World League too. Yeah. So I'm like, if you're gonna compete, like go out there and at least try to win. And I don't care if you lose. It, it, that's part of the game. I I lose all the fucking time. I was like, I don't care if, if you, you win. Lose. I will give you one dollar. If you lose, I will give you two. Dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're gonna go out, if you're gonna compete, compete. And and you you've seen him roll, like he's you're good. like he's fucking good. Well, people his size, yeah, he's yeah. Very and good. I'm like, these are your fucking like this is perfect for you. And he didn't do anything that he normally does. And I'm like, bro, but you want you want the inverse of that or the op- not competing at all? No. When you go out there and lose, what do you think, what do you think they think about you? Yeah, but I go out and I try. I don't just Doesn't fuck matter. around. That's the point, though. Nah. I don't care if he loses. And that's why I tell him. Like, I'm going to make sure your son's disappointed. I'm like, if you lose, I'm all right with it when you actually try. But hey, when you lose next time, it, I'm going to have fucking potato roll up to you and be like, hey, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's coming from little potato. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. If he, I, don't, I, really don't, I really don't care if he loses if he, as long as he tries. That's the thing. But when he goes out and you don't even try, and like everyone, everyone was expecting, like, I know everyone was looking at him like, oh, he's about to fucking... Yeah, but maybe he was mentally beat. That you don't just get over that. He easily. went that second round. He went into with against him. He lost, but he actually fought. Yeah, but maybe this the the second one he was defeated. No, not but ever, he, not everyone. Can no, just but get he, through but, that but shit. he actually like went out and like that, that second one. Yeah, but maybe he got maybe he him. got the gusto. Maybe, maybe I don't not know. everyone can just be tortured like you. I mean, he doesn't have a soul. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> All right, back on my list of things to talk about. <laughs> Before we get any further, hashtag no Smith. Just keep hitting me at that shit. Oh man, dude, when you hit that, when you hit that, what was it? Three, 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 three. Would you hit on the Smith that day when you, when you tagged me in it? Three. Oh, it was two thirty-five. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, the amount of DMs I got on that, my box was blown Haters. up. Haters say, saying, "Damn, on the Smith machine." It was basically the same comment. From everybody. I, you, the, anyone can come over here and get it. And then tell me it's not the same. It's the fucking same shit. Hey, wh- when I did that little quick video, I didn't say what I wanted to say because I kind of got confused in my own head. I wasn't trying to say that I would compete with everybody because I know that can't happen. But this motherfucker just said he would compete with all of you. I know a lot of fuck. motherfuckers hitting up 350 on the Smith. Oh, yeah. But they, they can do it free weight. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying that it's the, the big difference between this is just you're stuck in your form. There's no stabilization in this. You're stuck in your form. If you sa- if let, let's just say as a a thought exercise, I just hey, did two seventy five on a thought exercise. Normal one. Hey, I, hey, some of the homies were saying that Jonah was touching that bar, dog. Oh my god, That's he was not touching say. the fucking he bar. Saying, he had fingertips on it. He was not touching up. the and bar. And those are Jonah fingertips. Those he was are, not. Those he was not touching fingertips. the bar. Anyway, so on the Smith machine, in, I, mean, I guess you could do it anyway. But let's let's say what, what do you think you could bench press with one hand? Hundred pounds. One hand. Fuck no, I don't know. Yeah, you, you can do 100 for sure. No, because I do 65 with a free weight. Yeah. I think you could bench 100 with one hand. I don't think so. But in, in theory, if you got the bar balanced enough on the Smith machine, so it's rolling on the rails, you could bench with one hand. Uh, yes. With yeah. stability. Well, I don't Just know. Just by pushing. I don't because there's if o- you there's get a, it in the middle. There's almost no wiggle. Yeah, if yeah. you get in the middle. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It, that's it, what I'm saying. It will get stuck yeah, yeah. if it's off balance. Yeah. yeah. So that's what a Smith machine does for you. Because yeah. if you watch like the, the, I follow this dude. I think his name's like the. All guy. I want to say is Mike Tyson was using the Smith machine. So fuck off. You ain't Tyson, dog. I don't give a fuck. 
Tyson was like, I don't give a years. fuck. He was using a Smith machine. Anyway, so like I followed the student. I followed the student. I, I was like, fuck uh, yes. <laughs> no, no one cared. I cared. Everyone's no everyone just hashtag no Smith. No. Fuck you. That might be the first 40 and fighting shirts right there. Just hashtag no Smith. I I don't promote that. So <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> unaccepted. Oh, uh, shit. But I followed this dude. This, I think his name's a like Gugger not. This big black dude. Yeah. This dude is jacked. He does 225 one-handed. But you can tell like he's either not – because it's hard to get your hand in the middle and have strength yeah. there. But he, it's tipping when he does it, but he still gets it up. That's where I was going on the Smith machine. If you could get it so it's not locking up when you're pushing, you could bench press one hand on Smith. Did you see that guy? Um, he fucking uh, um, shoulder pressed 305. Like I seven think, times. Yes. It's like, on a, or like on 10 a two times. for this page? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, was yeah. like, holy shit. Dude. I, I, think, I, I, think, I, I was like, how does one do that? How do you get that fucking big that you can do 305? Just What, do you what do you is this bench press? press? Even on the Smith machine, what do you hit on the fucking shoulder press? Um, 195. That's crazy. It's not that bad. Dude, I can barely hit 135 like that. I don't know. But you got like, you're like two years solid now, right? Working out? Yeah. yeah dude, oh, fuck. Going back, fucking. Dude, Andreas, I could swore I, hit, I saw that full overhead he pressing. He's strong. He is strong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure There's he There's a few guys at our gym that are undercover. That are really fucking. Dude, he strong. goes to the gym wearing like like a rash, like kind of smaller shirt, not like kind of rash guard, but like a tighter shirt. He is fucking yeah. huge, yeah. dude. That's like a. He's one of the dudes that walks around like this and shit because he has it, to because he's it, so fucking it's big. Ismael is really dude, strong. He's dude. diesel. He's fucking diesel. Strong. Fuck, dude. He looks diesel though. He looked bigger than he is because I think he I, and I may be wrong. I think he said he was like two ten. He's about my weight. I think at the looked, last at the last he, he, he did that too at Super. He is so fucking strong. Like, yeah, he is, and it's like double because his game is like. I think he's the, so well, good because he wrestled his whole life too, or at least in high school. But uh, I, I think I, didn't uh, know that. I he's think really good. the best position I've ever been in on him is like a knee shield. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say best. Yeah. Then he said, I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. I think one time I yeah. threw him in the half guard. And he was playing a little loose, and I had him in that knee shield. He couldn't pass for like 20 seconds. And yeah, crush me. Yeah, <laughs> um, but there, ah, man, there's so. Or Misa, things. Misa doesn't look that big until you see him in the rash guard, dude. He is so he's big. Jacked. Yeah, he's big too. Yeah, he's he, Misa's just fucking solid. <laughs> oh. Dude, I was listening with Bob this morning. Oh, Bobby, and uh, he was going to fail one of the lifts we were doing, and, you know, help him push his arms up. Fuck, dude. Feels like pushing on like, concrete blocks, dude. Just another one. I was, I was doing, I pushed it up, and I was like, damn. We got a lot of strong, like we got a lot of big dudes in our gym. I'm going to get back. I think my shoulder's good. Like, my shit, I can feel it tearing today, like, you know, when you start to break the muscles. Dude, I was doing good for a minute. I got hurt. What do you expect? Do something else. I, Work legs. Everything hurts. Work legs. Legs every day is boring. Go on a walk. Go on a run. I was doing that shit. Mm -hmm. I was just walking around shit. Normal yeah, work. Life. I was working. <laughs> it don't matter. That don't count. <laughs> All right. Back to my list of things. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I talked about most of these. Yeah, we, got, we, got, we got some good people at our gym. I, I like yeah, our Yeah, we gym. have a solid gym. Like, I, I, think, I think the strongest role is in our gym. When I've competed, you know, I don't win, but the roles don't feel hard. Not like they do in our gym. Yeah. I agree. I'd have to agree. You know, I, th I had a thought about that this week, about being a purple belt, like considering it to other people in the world. Like, uh, uh, oh, Bernardo Ferreira, you know who that is? The BJJ, BJJ Fanatics. Fanatic. Yeah. He did, I guess they did a poll on the comments on one of the videos, and they, he said that they took all the polls and they, they went into all of it and they did like an average. So the average time to black belt is 12 years. That still seems long. That's out of think... that's out of seven. That's out of seven hundred participants. I think that's wrong. Yeah. Well, but that that's. I mean, a lot of if you go on Reddit too, a lot of this gets brought up a lot on Reddit. People say 10, 10 years is probably the average. Right? Let's say it's ten I think, years. I think that used to be the average. I think it's getting more less and less. less. But let, let's say that's still the average, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense because there's people that have been black belts or talking about it, whatever. So it, let's say it takes you ten years. Let's say I get mine in seven, which is probably not right. It's probably six. Let's say I get it in six or seven to be equal. It's like you see all these people that are like four-year purple belts, and I think about shit that I do and I don't do. It's like, okay, am I at a purple belt level? Like, yes or no? But then it's like I've beat dudes who are at purple belt levels. Yeah, you know so, what I mean? so like, I, I I don't know why I did it, but so I signed up for World League, right? And, Which one? Um, San Diego. When's that coming up? April fourteenth. I might do that. Um, it's just, um so month there away? was two people. Now there's only one. Uh, so I was like, oh, it's just one. I was like, I'm gonna look this guy up. I looked him up. 
He's been a pro since 2015. <laughs> that's exactly that's what we're talking about. Nine years. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck are you a pro bowl? The only thing I can think of. He can't beat IBJJF. They won't let him. The only thing I can think of is that he just took time off. COVID happened. He took time off for COVID. Like, you know, there's a lot of reasons. Yeah. And he, he's obviously an older guy. So that's what I'm imagining. He's a master three now? Yeah. So I'm imagining that that's it's a what year, happened. It's a year earlier at, at, at World League. Master three and IBJJF's not until 41. Really? Oh, because it's thirty six to forty one. Oh well, yeah. In World League, I'm I'm Masters three. So, but I looked it up, and he got his purple belt in twenty fifteen. That's crazy. So how'd like, you look it up? I just found uh, oh, it's his name, that? and I googled his name, yeah. and then I put BJJ at the end, and then like the gym popped up that uh, he was at, and then I was able to find. I just kind of looked that I don't remember. It's just not not a big name. Gym. One. No. Yep. Um, but I was like, man, since 2015. Yeah, but like, some of these crazy. dudes be sandbagging. Like, I follow, yeah. I follow some dudes, and they're like, oh, I got my brown belt after fucking uh, eight years. Like, some shit like eight that, years, four yeah. years. You're yeah. like, fuck, you were a brown belt four years where you consistently, like, yeah, five days a week. And you're like, what yeah, the fuck. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like, yeah, if you sandbag people, of course, they're going to be super, they're going to be super proficient. And it's like, you know, I think everyone's got a different view on this, but I don't think you should be in, you shouldn't be proficient on everything until you're a black belt. Or even at black belt, I think people are not. Proficient, everything. proficient, everything. Yeah, and I think at purple belt, from what I'm understanding, is at purple belt you should have a set of like moves that you're really good at. It almost that you can catch a black belt with. Like you, can, you're close to like maybe one or two moves. Oh, shit, that you're, get like, my white belt back because I can't catch a black belt. <laughs> <nothing. laughs> um, but like you know what I mean. Like you're good enough that in certain things you can, you're confident enough that you can hit against yeah. high level people. Yeah. Um, and some of the things I need to work like I've I'm starting. What are you catching on black belts? I didn't say I'm catching shit on black belts. Oh, okay. I'm saying they're saying you should have moves that are at least oh, okay. that close to that level. Yeah, you know. Um, I think if I catch our black belts in that arm triangle, getting to the arm triangle is impossible. But let's say I get to that arm triangle, I think I can finish that on a couple of them. My arm triangle is pretty good, dude. I don't even lean into it on people. Sure, bud. Let me put you in arm triangle. No, I'm not going to let you get there. I'm going to get there this week. All right. I'll see. Tell me if it's good. And I'll, I'll sink in on it. Okay. Tell me about your little bitch-ass ear again, dog. Okay. Okay. My paper cutter is solid as fuck, too. Yeah. You do have a good paper cutter. Arm triangle is good, too, though. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I don't have shit. I think I was going to put you in a scarf hold and bend you in half to your neck breaks. You're not going to get there. That's the problem. <sighs> I'm going to get there. No. I, I was uh I was talking with uh, oh hold on that last roll when I beat up your little ear, I had you in the uh, clock clock oh, yeah, I want to do that leg one. That's coming up. That's getting the leg one where you throw your leg around and do the choke. Oh yeah, the step over. Oh one. dude, that's dude that looks good too. Do you uh do you remember fucking he hasn't come in a while uh, Lennox. Yeah, he used to hit that thing. Yeah, that, all that's the a good time. One. Well, there's there's two ways to I'm do it. I'm gonna start it. going for that. Ha! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a good move. Um. And it's it is fucking tight. It is shit. so tight. Yeah, it gets tight yeah. fast as fuck. Yeah. Um, uh, Roger showed some other stuff from there um, a few weeks ago from the clock choke. He went over the clock Mr. choke. Mr. One Thousand? Uh, no, no, no. Um, oh, Rambo Roger. Yeah, Rambo. He he had shown some. We were working on the clock choke, yeah. and then he worked, and then he showed some like like extra things from the clock choke. Yeah. And that was a couple of things we worked on. So That's yeah, cool. the clock choke is good. It's the thing with the clock choke is it like. As soon as it sinks in, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, Leo showed me an interesting tip I hadn't seen before. I think when I had you in that clock choke, I was trying to get my hip past your shoulder, right? That was on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was trying to get it up. It, it was still back like yeah, this. I was, trying to, I was trying to bring yep. it forward. And he was like, you need to lean forward. And I was like, why is he going to roll me? me down. Yeah, he was like, nah, watch. And he did it to me. And he put his head on the mat. And I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, yeah. Drive yeah, me yeah. down. Yeah, yeah I got to start doing I, I don't, that. I don't, again, I don't, it's with everything else. There's no, Right or wrong, right or wrong way. way. Yeah. Some things just work better yeah. than others, and it depends on your body style and your body yeah. type. And is it going to work for you? Or is it not going to work for you? Yeah. But I've seen uh, the way Roger shows it is hip on over their shoulder mm -hmm. and kick that leg out, hip over the shoulder. And then I have seen other people like do it like that, like full yeah. head down, and it really drives like. And then again, it, it probably opens your, up your neck. It also depends on your opponent. Like, how yeah. does your opponent react? Is this going to work for them, or yeah. am I going to have to change it up? So, there's just so many variations. Um, I mean, that's why jujitsu is fucking hard. It's just. I think when I get my brown belt, I'm going to quit and go to a different school with a purple belt. <laughs> Say it again. One of the homies did that recently. <laughs> Took some stripes off his blue belt, went somewhere else. I'm not surprised. Yeah. 
He sucks anyway. I don't think he watches this, but I fuck him up every time we roll, too. <laughs> Punk bitch. Uh, <laughs> all right, back to my list. This is uh, perfectly on the note of belts. So today, I, I think it was today, I, I saw it today, Cole Bate posted that he promoted his first three black belts. How many stripes does Cole have? Zero. How the fuck is he promoting? That's what I was getting to. So those black belts would, I mean, first of all, on, these guys looked a little bit older, maybe like mid-20s, maybe 30s. They, not young like him, right? So the fact that he would be their professor bringing him up uh, doesn't make sense to me. They're probably under Gi or Hoffa or under AOJ as a, as a banner in general. I would be so mad if, let's say, I put in three or four years at AOJ and I'm getting to the point where I'm a black belt and then no disrespect to Cole, but Cole gives me my black belt. Like, fuck that, dude. I'm a black belt for fucking Gi or Hoffa Mendez, you know what I mean? Not for Cole Bate. I'd be mad about that. But also... They would. They have to put on the paperwork that it's from Guy and Hoffa because Cole can't promote it. Yeah, either. you got to be three stripes now for IBJF. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I'll say I wouldn't disagree that he knows what someone being a black belt level is. Oh, for sure, he's been a black belt for five years. Yeah, so he's like, just, just got his belt because of time. Yeah, yeah. So I, I well, shouldn't he have one stripe already then? No, he just got it last year. But he said he had it for five. No, years. five years ago he was a blue belt. I'm just saying that he was at the black belt level when he was oh, a blue belt. Oh, competing at black belt level. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, he was a, he was a black belt when he was a blue belt because he was already like ten years. He in. just couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't, he couldn't because he was too young. So he got it like the day he turned eighteen or pretty close to it. That's insane. I think I think Noah will probably be a blue belt by the time he's fifteen. How old is he? 14? Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Omar Omar doesn't doesn't mind giving it to people before they're sixteen. No. Yeah, dude, man, he'll be he'll, oh, that's just fucking crazy. Be that young and be close like that, close to like purple and brown. Let's get him on the sauce too. Let's start no. him young. Let's get him on that Mika. Gal- no. Let's get him on get that Mika. Mika. Get him on that Mika Galvao. Yeah, <laughs> get him fucking going. And one of my neighbors over here, I came home from class the other day. He was getting out of the car and he walked over. He's like, "Hey, man, I don't like. I don't want really to talk to my yeah. neighbors. I, I just never. Because you're a bad neighbor. Probably. Yeah. I've never talked. You to You wave to him and shit. Yeah, I wave. Oh, you gotta I'll wave. Say, you gotta hit the fuck. Yeah, I do. I'll yeah. do like a yeah. hey. Like I, I will wave yeah. to my neighbors. I'm not like an asshole, but I just don't like go out of my way to like. You look like an asshole. Talk to him. I probably do. <laughs> it's a beard. <laughs> but he came over and he was like, "Oh, you do jujitsu?" And like he was like talking to me about it. He's like, "I want it." He's off smoking a cigarette. And he's like, "Guys, stop that shit." Yeah, I was like, I wanted to do that. Da 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 da. And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, he's like, man, you've, it's like you fucking lost a lot of weight. It's like you look, you look like you're getting in shape. And I was like, yeah, man. Like, I look like it, bitch. What's up? Yeah, it's a fucking rash wait, guard. Wait on. till you're all fucking banged out this summer, and that yeah. fucking that vest is that's, running around. That's the goal. That's the goal. Get that summer dad bod. I mean, you're already the alpha, that. the alpha dad, right? I already am the alpha dad. I can be a fat <laughs> piece of shit. I already run these streets, dog. We continue your story. But uh, yeah, he came over. And I was like, he was talking about jujitsu. I just thought it was kind of cool, like. Um, that someone random when someone like you don't know but they see you like i watched this uh you ever watch like a joe joey swole mm-hmm. he does a lot of those videos on like um instagram where like you know girls were like oh he was he was like sexually harassing me and mm-hmm. it's like and then they like slowed the video down and the dude just kind of looked mm-hmm. like that it wasn't even yeah and then they try to make people feel bad or get people fired or like hey if you're at the gym and you got wild cheeks i'm looking at him sorry <laughs> yeah so this girl, he posted this video Not sorry. of this lady where um, she's like a bigger lady, but she, I guess she'd been going to the gym. And then she was like, on the way out, on the way out of the gym, some guy stopped her and he was like, hey, I see you. Oh, I saw that. He was like, I yeah, see you, man. Yeah, Dude, I saw keep that it, one. Keep yeah. it up. You know, you're yeah. doing a great job. And she was like crying and shit. But it does lead to the fact that like when someone, it's like people are watching. Sure. Like people are watching. Yeah, I used to have this neighbor at my old house. Uh, his wife got real fit. I think I never saw her when she was fat, but she got really fit. And he started getting fit. You could see that he, she was pushing it on, pushing it yeah. on. Her. Then they got a divorce, and he got a new chick, and he got fat as fuck again. Because <laughs> <laughs> me and Brianna would be like, damn, homeboy's getting thick over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. The, people are watching, man. People yeah. are watching what you do. And when someone um, comments on it, it's cool. Like, um, especially out of, when you're not expecting it. They're sure. Like, hey, man, good job. Like, whatever. You're like, oh. Thank you. That's fucking cool. So I do try to like compliment people. Like I think it is it's something that you should do as a peop as a just yeah, a maybe stop person. being a dickhead. Start talking to your neighbors. I've talked to all I my do. Neighbors. I was like, hey, what's up? I talked to all Idaho my neighbor. Yeah. Idaho. 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 Oh, the one from fucking from, Tool Time. Yeah, Tool Time. I can't remember what he said. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Dude, right. I, I had this one neighbor, um, and when I lived in Imperial Beach, um, he he moved in and he was in the Navy, mm-hmm. and he brought a he married a Japanese chick, and then like um, straight from Japan, like married her. Konnichiwa, her. bitches. Yeah. And like she, was she like that shit is bananas. <laughs> <laughs> she brought. They came over when they moved in, and they, they brought us like some Japanese like Twinkies and shit. Yeah, because they're not pieces of shit. Yeah, and I, I was like, I was like, I tell my girl, I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is weird. I don't. We don't talk to neighbors. Like, You're supposed to bring them something. Apparently, I don't know. Fuck, dude. I'm just not a good neighbor, man. I'm about to go full Japanese. I started watching the show called Shogun, dude. I don't know of a show. I just Ooh. know a tool named Shogun. Yeah. A what? A tool. A Shogun tool? Yeah, it's a tool. Like in computer shit? Mm-hmm. Oh. You don't know what a Shogun is? Uh-uh. I don't watch anime. <sighs> it's not anime. It's real shit. Oh, you make me sad, dog. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> you might catch me in here fucking with some wanna, tape, been, some tape been, on my shit next week. I don't I'm want a new... I'm a... I can't eat you <laughs> God damn it! I want I want a I want a new gi. <laughs> Me too. I bought I I bought some bad ones on fucking uh, on uh, Black Friday. Mm-hmm. I have one of them wearing that that Hyperfly, but I bought a really dope Hyperfly. It was just it just didn't fit right, and I actually had a hole in it, so I sent it back. Mm-hmm. It was expensive though. It's like a two hundred fifty dollars gi. It was the, badass. Rebecca and Noah. Why don't you ever wear that show you roll? You been wearing? I haven't that? even opened it yet. No, the new one. The one, one. No, one. the other one. Yeah, yeah, I wear that one. You, oh, you yeah, yeah. wearing it? That's that's the gi. That you know when you're in shape. When I, when I, yeah, yeah. If I'm wearing that, then you know I'm out. I'm like my weight is off dry that on point. Though. No, fuck no. Hit that in the dryer. I can't quick. even dry it because it would shrink. It already goes to here, and it's I've never shrunk. I've never. Well, dried if you're gonna it. buy a new one, buy an IBJJF one so we can compete. I have one that's got the numbers on it. I bought it at the fucking at Master. Oh, that one will work. Yeah. 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 Does it fit? I've never opened it. Probably not. Those geese are fucking so whack and sizing. I've not opened it. I think if I was going to go with something from Sherry Roll, I'd go with the AP stuff. I like it better. Except the Dude, I saw... Wait, is that new Sherry Roll that's dropped? It's all white. No. It's, it's all white and all blue, and all the embroidery is white or blue. It's oh, so sick. Dope. I saw color some color. of those AP shoes yesterday. I was like, fuck. Oh, yeah, those I really dope. want some of those. They sold out so quick, but they only look cool if you tear them up, and I'm not going to tear up my shoes. That's why I was like, man, I'll give them to Noah, and he can skateboard in them. Because he's been skateboarding a lot. That's what they're for. Yeah. So they, they get torn up. Dude, he got me. He fucking got me. That skateboard he has over here, he cracked it. He goes, hey, my skateboard's cracked. And so I can't let him fucking skateboard on a cracked skateboard. Like, it's yeah, just not being, safe. You're being a good parent. So I was like, all right, we'll get you a deck. And he's like, hey, I want this specific deck. And it, I was, you know, like, was going to say, you know there's a skate shop like five minutes from here, right? Well, the, he wanted a, this, this company called, I didn't, well, he has a friend apparently is what he was telling me. His friend's brother is sponsored by this company, Pastel. Mm-hmm. And they make like Pastel skate. Yeah, they've been around for a long time. Yeah, so he wanted one of those. So Did you even try that skate shop right there? No. I, they got all kinds of cool shit. I went on Pastel's website. Yeah. I found, and then on their website, it says shop local. Mm-hmm. And then I found whatever the closest one was, oh, which okay. is in Marietta. Okay. And I called them. It was right by the Costco. Okay. That's why we were out there yeah. yesterday. Um, he's like, it's Did 60 bucks. you get that bucks. dog in you? He was like, it's 60 bucks. I was like, no, I did not go to Costco. You didn't get that dog no. in you? Oh, uh, But I was like, fuck it. I was like, yeah, it's 60 bucks. I don't care. We'll get you a new deck. So then I'm like, okay. So we go out there, <clears throat> and he has it. So I order it. And then and I'm like, hey, can you put on? Um, they gave him a tape. They're like, hey, we'll give you free yeah. grip tape. I'm like, can you put it on? He's like, sure. And then I'm like, hey, can you change the trucks? And he's like, sure. And then he pulls out his skateboard, and his fucking bolts are all rusted because he leaves the skateboard outside. And I'm like, god damn it. So I'm like, he's like struggling. And then I'm like, fuck, well, how much are new trucks? And so we go look at trucks. And I'm like, fuck it, I'll get new trucks. And then I was like, well, you need new tires. So then we get the fucking tires. Wheels. Yeah, the wheels, yeah. He's like, he needs new wheels. And then he's like, well, what kind do you want? You want soft or hard? And so we go through that whole thing and get some hard ones. And then uh, he's like, oh, you're going to need um, bearings? The kit. Yeah. For the screws. Mm-hmm. And, and the bearings. And then he's like, you got gold ones. And then he's like, is like, that the first time you ever bought a skateboard? No. This this one he has, uh, the one that he just broke, We that was his one. And we've got an Nathan one too. But um, normally I just buy them already like, together. Yeah, because it's just cheap. a nice one yeah. built. They're just already built. But at the skate shop. And then. And then, uh, yeah, yeah then, then he needed the on. fucking bearings. I'm not a big skateboarder. I've ridden them, but mine have always been like Walmart skateboards. Yeah. I've never had like a, yeah. a good one. My brother was like a semi pro skateboarder. No one's really <laughs> good. No one's really yeah. good. Like, I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Like, where the fuck did you get? Like, he and Ollie pretty fucking. So, how high. much did he get you for? 
Two hundred bucks. Two hundred and seventy bucks. Damn, skateboards are expensive now. Back in the day, when but I get, I got a new helmet too. So oh, okay, he yeah. needed a new helmet. Yeah. Well, so, my brother was skateboarding like the most badass shit was probably one hundred fifty. Yeah, but it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be sixty dollars. You fucking leave, <laughs> and the dude's like, "Man, he got you." I was like, "Yeah, he did." Most broke ball. Yeah, I, I was like, "God dog. damn it!" It's like, but I, I, like I said, for me, it was like his skateboard's cracked. I can't have him riding it. And you like, forced him to compete, and you told me you were disappointed. I didn't force him, him to That's compete. That's what you get. I didn't force him to compete. He got you. He was like, oh, he made me feel bad. I'm going to get his <laughs> ass. Get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's That's a dope funny. skateboard, though. Yeah. That's and cool. he's he's really good. I, I, wish, I, actually, I, wish, I actually wish he would spend more time on his skateboard, because he's actually, like, for the limited amount of time that he skateboards, he's really good. I'm like, man, you might be able to, like... Make sure your insurance is fucking up to date, though. Oh, of course. We have yeah. fucking everything, so... As yeah, as don't break your hurt. fucking wrist, man. Not He's before a competition. For sure. So, yeah. I used to make him wear the whole, like, uh... Damn, he did that to him? Yeah, that? yeah. That's fucked up. But dude. now I don't. Now he's older. I'm like, now it's, but you have to, I'm like, you have to have a helmet. I don't give a fuck. You're That's wearing so a helmet. You have to have a helmet. So, um, but I make sure it's, it's one of the, I don't know if it's still there, but there. Protect helmets or whatever. The protect. Ones. Yeah, protect. Yeah. I don't know if it's still there, but there's this really cool, there's a mall in Orange County that has the van skate park in it. It's dope. There's a new skate park here. Yeah. It's always busy though. Yeah. Well, when we lived in IB, we had this. We had a skate park that we used to take them to all the time. So that that was growing up in Vegas. That was one of the cool things. For some reason, the city got on initiative and they built like seventy five skate parks. And they're well, like, that's probably during the time Tony Hawk was pushing all the cities to build skate parks. And he uh, was, yeah, was he was around was, like maybe, but he was trying to yeah. like. But like, I mean, like it. these are like crazy professional like, level really skate good? parks. Yeah. They're not these little bullshit here. Yeah, like the one they built in my area was like five times nicer than this, and there was like nobody we were. They're like they have like competitions at these skate parks. They're fucking wild. There's one up in Idaho that I never see anyone at, hmm. it's, but it's Idaho. So yeah. like, I don't know, might be worth just driving up there to have a fucking skate park to yourself. Because um, this one out here is always busy. Let's just make a little homie a flat bar real quick and get him at it. <laughs> He'd love it. Tell him come over and teach him how to weld. Yeah. I, don't, I don't got much yeah. else. I have something about being bad at jiu-jitsu, but I don't remember what it was. So. Well, it doesn't matter because I got to get this fucking edited in the next 30 minutes. And There's only one thing you got to edit. Yeah. And it was right. Yeah, I know. What right. Anyways. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the like. I think we were talking about trying to make patches and shirts and stuff, so you guys might see that. We want to do some things with the channel which require money. And I, we already spend enough money on this channel every fucking month. Um, so I like to... Maybe get patches and stuff like that. We can get them out there and get some support and uh, build up even more. So, anyways, hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. We're stuck at 200 subscribers. Yeah. It went up and then it went down. Did it? Yeah. And then, uh, it, then it went back which up. Which one of you motherfuckers unsubscribed? It went back, it went back up again. And it, it's so, like some piece of shit. Fucking assholes. Hit them with the hashtag. They're probably, the they're probably like spazzy. Fucking white belts. Fucking white belts. Just sags have been beating them up. Yeah. Anyways. Nos. Nos.